What's up, everybody? Today's episode, I'm taking a break from the uh, 67, and we're putting cab lights in Justin's LBZ. Getting started already tonight. Just taking the interior shit apart. I don't think we're gonna actually drill holes tonight because we've been drinking beers, so it's probably a bad combination. <laughs> Installing. If you look at that, look at that. It's 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 not the right pickup. <laughs> so we're putting the newer style low pro ones on here. You wanna open that up? So this is the uh, for the newer body style low profile instead of being the big big bulky ones that the uh, NBS trucks came with. So the uh, overhead console is just a Phillips screw up here in the middle. And this is a, uh, what is this one, T20? Yes sir. T20, and then these ones are T15s. Just tabs on the back, I think. Yeah, I just yeah. So it's just one screw in the front and then it pops down. And that should give us enough room to drop the headliner down. We got our measurements. So we're five inches up from the windshield on all of our marks here. So we found center, measured from corner to corner here to get this measurement in the middle here, which is 27 and 7 eighths. And then we went eight inches up from there and marked on each side to measure to get center here. I don't remember what that measurement ended up being. So then we could get centered perfectly up and down in the middle here because we got the uh, XM antenna in the way for measuring everything. So it gives us that measurement. And then we just did five inches up and uh, on this to get it even. Mark that all out, and then we're going to come in with a punch and do our marks for the holes. And then based off of some measurements we found online, we went 11 inches from the end of that to the end of this one, and just did 5 inches up. And then here's, we're 4.5 inches in on the, this side for this measurement, and 6 inches in for this side for the 5 inch measurement from here to here. We got the holes drilled for the uh, first one. What size drill bit was the small one again, Justin? Seven, seven sixty fourths for the for the screws here. And then we did a quarter inch here, and I came back with a little file and just filed all the all the shavings down, deburred it so that the wires don't get cut in the top and the bottom. And to get away with the smaller hole, we pulled the uh, end of the connector off so we can just fish that through and then put the connector on afterwards. So we're going to put some touch up paint on here, we're just using black because it's underneath and you don't see it anyways, so I'm just going to put a little dab of paint around, around the holes so it doesn't rust. Yeah. So for this one, measuring for the uh, wiring harness to come through, oh, it's exactly right. one inch off of this hole I I and dead center in line with these, so if you just take your tape measure, run it across in line here one inch center punch and you can drill your hole. Okay, so we got the cab lights installed. All we got left to do now is to figure out the wiring. And I think we're gonna try and come down the passenger side and tap into the fuse panel on that side. Got the wiring harness installed in here. I was looking for a factory ground but I ended up just running a self tapper right there. And then uh, zip tied it all up to the main harness so it's not flopping around up there. And then the screen wire coming down is the power wire for them. Well, they're all hooked up and working. We ended up just uh, tying into the Boost Auto wiring harness that we put in. Just because it's super easy to do. Here's the wire for the lights. This is the Boost Auto lights. And this just runs to the fuse panel underneath the hood. What would you say it was? Park, yeah, the park light fuse is what it's tapped into. 
Just got to cut some zip ties and put it together. Put the interior back together and we're, we're ready to go. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. You're just finishing up with the silicone now. That's how you install newer style cab lights on an LBZ.